On this James the Bike Guy, we're talking trail tires in the 27.5 and 29 format. We're looking at the Bontrager XR4 Team Issue Tire. But before we get into the specs and the ideas behind these tires, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. That way you can see more videos like this into the future. So taking a look at the Bontrager XR4 tire, the first thing we should talk about is a little bit to do with the naming scheme. So the XR indicates that this tire is designed uh, for that cross country trail, uh, even light enduro style rider where you're gonna wanna balance the weight as well as the durability of the tire. The next number, the four, these are numbered from zero all the way to five. And basically that's how aggressive the tread blocks are. So the four would be a great tire for something like loose and rocky terrain. It would be a great front tire if you were pairing it up with a three on the back. And the higher the number, the thicker and uh, the higher off of the tire the tread blocks become. And then it's also gonna reduce a little bit of the speed of roll or basically increase rolling resistance the more aggressive the tire gets. And the last piece to talk about here is the team issue. That has to do with what grade of sidewall is in this tire. So in this case, team issue is their top level casing. And what that means is that that casing is gonna be very lightweight. It's gonna have 120 TPI, which is threads per inch, so 120. And that's because these tires are actually starting off as cloth that gets impregnated with the rubber. And a higher TPI means that the tire is gonna be a lot more flexible, which these, these very much are. And a more flexible tire means you can run lower tire pressure and get great grip over rocks and things like that. It's also gonna allow the tire to conform to the ground better. So not only do you get more traction with a higher TPI casing, but you're also gonna get uh, a much faster ride than a lower TPI casing because the tire isn't gonna give as much resistance. Now with that, if we take a look at these, the tires do have what they call their inner strength casing, which is basically some sidewall protection that is added to the side of the tire. So even though it's high TPI, you don't have to worry about it, you know, being uh, less durable or things like that. These tires are gonna be plenty durable. And then the other neat thing about these tires is that of course, in that bead, they're gonna be tubeless ready. You can see this very nice squared off bead, which is gonna hook up with a tubeless ready wheel uh, quite well. And one of the neat things with Bontrager is if you run them with another Bontrager wheel, uh, it makes an absolutely perfect seal. But Bontrager's TLR system is one of the most friendly to work with to actually mount up. Uh, and one of the reasons that I definitely like these tires. Now, while we're looking at it, the tread design, uh, they consider it you know, a very aggressive tread with good braking traction. And the reason that would be is if you look at the tire, as it goes across the casing, you can actually see that it's got very strong side lugs to it. If you go down the center, it's a directional tire, so it's gonna have ramping on some of the lugs like that. You can see the ramps. But then you're gonna have these straight across group, which is gonna allow the tire to stand up really well for braking performance. So when you need to bring the tire down, it's gonna do a good job. Another interesting thing about the tires is that they're actually gonna be dual compound. So this is part of where the team issue comes in. Not only is it uh, the better quality sidewall, but it's gonna be dual compound, which means down the center, this tire is actually gonna be set up with 61A compound rubber. That's gonna be a long wearing rubber compound, a little bit harder, uh, and that's gonna keep the tire lasting a while. And then onto the side lugs of the tire, it's actually gonna run a 50A rubber compound, which 50A is quite a bit uh, stickier, quite a bit softer. And that's gonna allow when you actually lean this tire over to go around a corner, it's gonna bite in and grip really hard. So if we look at these lugs, you can see that, uh, that they're definitely very movable. As you go to the center lugs, they get a lot firmer. And it's, uh, it's awesome to have that dual compound through this tire. While we also look at it, you can see that the tire is going to run these sipings, which are basically small half cuts. They don't actually go all the way through, but the reason that this matters is it allows 
the tread block to actually conform and bend around. You can actually see where it's almost like there's multiple tread blocks into each. And that's gonna definitely help with the performance of these tires. Now I'm gonna link down in the description below a older video of mine of the XR4, the previous generation, and you can see that they've made a ton of improvements. So Bontrager tires in the past were, uh, were definitely not always the best, and Bontrager has done a killer job getting a much nicer tire today. And these actually ride really well, but they also give a 30 day uh, guarantee on the tire so you can actually ride them and if you don't like them you can bring them back uh, back to the shop that you got them and uh, either refund or get another tire. The left one on your screen here is a 27.5 by 2.6 and the right one is a 29 by 2.6 and these are now the higher volume tires that slot somewhere between a traditional mountain bike tire and a mid fat. Now the tires are also going to come uh, in a mid-fat version. You can get a 27.5 by 2.8 or in the 29er format you can get a 29 by 3.0 so you can get that full mid-fat if you want. And then they make traditional uh, tire sizes 27.5 by 2.4 or the 29 by 2.4. That's just crazy because in today's world the 2.4 is the narrowest tire that they're making with this. And uh, if we just jump back five years ago, you know, a 2.4 would have been huge. I remember when 2.3s were becoming, you know, more and more common and it was just giant compared to the 2.0s and 2.1s uh, that we used to ride. So now that we've taken a look at some of the design features of these tires, let's go ahead and find out what they measure mounted up on a 30 millimeter rim. We'll get the 29 and the 27.5 tires right now. And the actual width for the 27.5 by 2.6 inch wide tire is 2.567 inches wide. The 29 by 2.6 measures out with an actual width of 2.547 inches. So now that we checked out the size, we'll go ahead and see the weight. We'll start with the 27.5 by 2.6 version of the tire and it's got a claimed weight of 745 and we'll see that on my postal scale here it's coming in even lighter at 725 grams. Now if we look at the 29er versions, this is 29 by 2.6, this is supposed to be 945 grams and again it comes in a little bit lighter at 940. Now keep in mind just as a disclaimer, uh, this postal scale I'm using goes in 5 gram increments. So there might be a little bit of margin for error, but both of those come in at or below what was expected, which is really nice to see in a mountain bike tire. Really nice to see in a mountain bike tire. So thank you so much for watching this video on the Bontrager XR4 tires. I hope you enjoyed learning about them. While, uh, while you're at this, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It really helps out. Love to see you in the next video. Please leave a thumbs up. It lets me know that you enjoyed the video. And then of course, leave all the comments you want down below. Love to know your thoughts.